Princess India here for your August Pisces Cross Watcher only reading. So for those of you who don't know, the purpose of this reading, um, I mean, I can't say that a Pisces wouldn't resonate with it because I mean, it's possible. I mean, anything's possible. But my intention with doing it is if you wanted to cross watch for a Pisces person, you know what I'm saying? Get a little insight on your whole, you know, romantical situation. I don't think romantical is a word. Sounds pretty cool though. But anywho, we're gonna go ahead and jump into these cards and see what is going on between you and your person of interest that just so happens to, you know, be a Pisces and whatnot or whatever. Okay, well, first card out, we have the King of Wands. So the thing I would say first and foremost, and I'm not going to say that first because I'm going to throw out this card. Okay, here's the thing. So there's an emotional connection, a passionate connection between you and this person, but there's not a commitment. There isn't necessarily, blah, blah, I can't talk right now. There isn't a clarity of intention is what I want to say. So the vibe that I would get with this is, is that we're talking about um, two people who are, it's actually kind of funny, I just had a thought, um, we're talking about two people who, and I'm treading lightly when I say this, because how it wants to come out is more or less saying like, acting like you're in a relationship, but you're not, but I feel that there's like a passionate connection, things feel right when you're together, um, you may even go as far as to say that uh, this person makes you feel the way that um, no one else that you've dated made, makes you feel. But there isn't um, a commitment that's present in this situation. Oh, then we have the tower card. Okie dokie. So there's a breakdown here. Um, I want to say... Um, like a breakup or, or some sort of separation if you will so i i would even venture to say and this has kind of reminded me of you guys general monthly um things ended abruptly with this um for some of you you could have found out oh, good lord they snuck out the back door with that yeah mm-hmm okay so cross watcher what this is looking like, this is a Pisces person. <clears throat> you had a really deep, passionate connection with this person. Um, I feel like you allowed yourself to be vulnerable. You really opened up. You know what I mean? Um, and this is interesting. That's Taurus energy. That's Scorpio energy and Cancer energy. Um... You really opened yourself up, but I don't feel like you guys were ever in an official commitment, if you will. And for some of you guys, I feel like you would have found out, because this would be something that you would know already. It's either finding out or being concerned that they're seeing someone else and that led to the whole thing, or this person ended up going back to someone else. And with the cherry card, it's more or less like... Uh, I don't want to say that they ghosted. It's very possible because I look at the cherry card and this deck is like my sneaking out the back door card. You know what I mean? So I would venture to say that the cross watcher person, which would be you, <laughs> is more or less in a place to where you're not really understanding how things panned out like this. Because to say that you had so much of um, a strong connection with this person right despite you know it having a an official title or not it's just the fact that the feelings were so strong it's not really understanding how everything kind of broke down you know what i mean or or what the cause of that uh was but i do feel that you guys are still holding um a flame for this person if you will it's more or less the the vibe I get is that you feel that there's more going on to the person. I think the way the person presents themselves is vastly different than what you sense from them on the inside, um, if that makes sense. So it's like, say if it's like a, um, I don't know, if it's a chick or if it's a dude and their demeanor to other people is more or less like one of bravado, like they seem 
like someone who's very unbothered, right? And like tough and like, I don't cry because I'm strong and things of the sort. I feel that you guys kind of get a different vibe. <laughs> Front garage door. That scared me. That scared me so much. But um, I feel that you guys get somewhat of a different vibe from them. Um, almost as if you feel like you can sense the person's heart. You know what I mean? So you feel like there's more to them. But at the same time, the way that this person presents themselves as rather cold. You know what I mean? Because we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know if I told y'all that it was the Nine of Wands. And I'm not showing you the cards because my autofocus is just ridiculous. I'm going to show you. And I show it to you, you can't see it. Oh, no matter what I do. I'm ordering another lens. But, um, but this person comes off as rather cold. And um, I would even go as far as to say kind of superficial. You know what I mean? Whether it's they're very concerned about money or they're very concerned about looks or like weight or physical fitness or, you know, something of the sort. Um, but it's a strong desire that you have for this person to open up. But, um, wow, this is a lot like uh, you guys' general reading. Those of you um, who are members, um, I would suggest to... You guys may want to uh, watch the extended um, of the the um, the the soul session for the month of August because this is the same um, energy that I'm seeing that I talked about in the extended for uh, that video, but it's it's a desire for this person to be something that they're not showing. And the reason you're desiring that is because you know that they hold that potential inside of them, but they're not acting in accordance with that, if that's making sense. Hmm. Yeah, it's like, the thing I keep getting is, is wanting this person to open up. It's wanting them to open up. And I really feel that it's like, um, it's, it's like an assurance that you have. Like you, nothing that this person really does except for like a few glimpse moments type of thing. Um, nothing would ever suggest that they're like that. It's almost like I'm getting the sense that you're discerning that about the person. So it's like, it's something you're seeing like in their, their essence or their soul or something like that. Or um, like a feeling that you get. So despite how this person acts on the outside, it's like on the inside, you know that they're different. So the thing that you're hoping for is, uh, is for them to come back, for them to open up, you know? so that that person that you know is on the inside uh comes out and then the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles in this deck to me always says that there's um some sort of karmic connection in a relationship and i don't know why there's been um and the three of pentacles in the reverse is at the bottom of the day i don't know why there's been a resurgence of that and you guys reading from june you guys had the karmic relationship card that came up as your overall energy. Um, I'm saying this as if you're a Pisces cross watcher, my bad. <laughs> but Pisces legit um, had karmic relationship. So the thing I would say uh, for my cross watcher person here, um, that would be the why you feel so connected. Like I was saying with this King of Wands here, like, how you could potentially feel that you've never felt this way about anyone before. I feel like that's for good reason because I feel like there's a, a, a you know, like a soul contract between the two of you, meaning y'all were in cahoots to meet each other before all of this because there's a vital lesson to be learned. So with this whole ghosting thing here, the whole sneaking out the back door and intense emotions and non-commitment and, you know, this sounds kind of, you know, uh, twin flamey, but the thing that I find so ironic is that, um, 
all the readings that I've done so far, that same theme keeps coming up. So I don't know how there's like a resurgence of this all of a sudden. But um, it's either mirroring I'm seeing or it's these, these karmic-like connections. But um, what I would say to my cross-watcher person... Um, and taking into account that Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, is more or less, uh, at present, things aren't working. That That's pretty clear. But uh, I would say that the cross-watcher person has um, a level of evaluation to do. Um, it's more or less needing to ask yourself if you feel that it's, uh, if it's worth it. You know what I mean? And uh, to give you guys more insight on that, that is why in the extended we look at how the person is thinking and feeling about you. Just to give you additional information to weigh. I like to use these over here more or less as a qualifier for your situation. So I'm going to go over to Vimeo and my website and Patreon and YouTube members to do the extended to look and see how your person of interest thinks and feels about you, my friend. So if you are about that life, follow me over there. If not, I still love your freaking face and I will see you guys sooner than later. Sayonara is temporarily my thing until I find a more permanent thing. <laughs>